Virgo, welcome back, baby. This is going to be a 22nd to the 24th reading for you, Virgo. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Moon, Moon, Virgo, okay? Sun, Moon, Rising, Jupiter, North, Moon, Virgo. The 22nd to the 24th of August. I mean, I said August. Uh, October. So the 22nd to the 24th of August could be significant for somebody. Okay, let's see. Virgo. All right, Virgo, let's see, baby. Virgo, the 22nd to the 24th. So I see victory in yin and yang. This could be in a divine masculine, divine feminine connection. Okay, give me one of these. Woman holding a heart and anxiety. With angel of balance and fourth chakra. Yeah, envy. You always get this card, Virgo. There's a water sign that's envious of you, competing with you, jealous, but they have anxiety. They're worried. I'm not really sure why. Yeah, storm warning. Somebody's envious. Someone's trying to create a storm. Someone's in the dark. They're going through a storm and you seem to be okay with the sun card. You seem to be making it through because we saw the victory card and you seem to be radiant. It's like somebody's worried about a tower for you or a tower that's happening to them. This fucking water sign. And I'm so tired of seeing this bitch and hearing about this hoe. This evil ass bitch. We have door to personal healing and happiness. Someone is envious. And this is this bitch that's worried about you trying to create a storm or do some evil fucking shit to you. The angel of balance is here. And there you are. Um... Well, that's not you, but justice is here. You have financial constraints and contract. Someone's trying to, you're going to get justice. And whoever's trying to distort your money or do something, you're going to get possibilities here. You're going to be free. Yes, yeah, someone's trying to block or stop or tie up any yes. And then you got a water sign. I mean, an earth sign. So this could be, this could be your divine counterparts, bitches doing this, jealous of you, working it, or someone's just jealous of you about a raggedy ass sick nigga that you do not want. Yeah, hostility. Someone is, has a lot of hostility towards you, Virgo. A lot of it. Or this is you doing this. You pick what side of this. And yeah, and I feel like it's all because you're radiant. You're beautiful. You're of the light. Look, someone's envious of your light. They're dark. They're hateful. They're grimy. They're unattractive. They're mad. And they're, and they're mad about your looks, your beauty, or something. Yeah. And this could also be, like I said, in a, a divine connection, yin and yang, how somebody feels about you, that, that they love you, they want you, they respect you, or you feel a way about them. What is the um, victory in the yin and yang? Because you love, yeah, rest and rejuvenation and, and shit. You feel a way or somebody feels about you. What is the um, victory in yin and yang? Somebody just mad, yeah, angel of, yeah, blossoming abundance and angel of strength. Yeah, you're strengthening and angel of balance. You have significant leaving pl placements, okay? Yeah, fourth chakra, which is the heart. Your heart is opening up to something here. You're getting justice here for whatever situation. We have personal, door to personal healing and happiness is happening. Patience. You seem to have patience. You're a magician in the mirror and healer of the ages. You're 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 doing alchemy to heal yourself. See, that's the difference between um, people. If people do work on other people to destroy them, and then they end up depressed and losing everything and sick and, and drained of energy and looking bad and feeling bad while you're doing work to manifest in your life on yourself. So somebody's single-handedly attacking you and giving you their energy and their power because you're not retaliating. You don't want to argue. You don't want to fight. You're not going to go back and forth with this fucking rat. What is the messages here? Like somebody is not getting it. They just don't fucking get it. The more you attack this person, the more justice they will get. They're not doing shit to you. And they're a good-hearted person. So with anxiety, somebody's really shook and fucking worried. What's the message here for Virgo? Sun, Moon, Rising, Jupiter, North Node, the 22nd of October to the 24th. What do you want for Virgo? This is like this is like this is like for no reason and out of control. Yeah, the lovers. This is about somebody loving you. A yin and yang connection, a lover, somebody loving you. Somebody wants somebody to love them and they just simply do the fuck not. Then you got a queen of pentacles somewhere that's mad about it too. Yeah, the, the, the lovers and the, the um emperor, because this emperor loves you, period. 
somebody's in love with you they love you they want you this queen of cups is mad somebody's bitch is mad yeah the hangman and the hermit so somebody in the justice there it is again so in the world something is going to close out naturally a karmic cycle yeah the death and it's going to be over somebody could be delaying things or hiding you or doing something cloaking or doing something evil to you or this is you because someone's mad because somebody doesn't want them but your overall energy is the high is the personal healing and um door to personal healing and um happiness with having a different perspective here going within i just like whatever somebody's doing it's only making you more powerful like bitch get off of somebody's dick move on with your fucking life this is going to backfire on you you're going to be struggling and suffering here Somebody not worried about you. Like, get off of that dick. What's the messages here? I feel like it's this cancer on you. Somebody's mad. Somebody that probably doesn't understand. So I feel like it's with the justice um, showing up, it's a Libra somewhere. Somebody's a Libra with significant Virgo places like, like myself. So I'm a Libra. I'm a Libra, Virgo, Leo type. And some of you could be that too. Somebody's like, like it's another Virgo cancer somewhere and competing. You're like, bitch, yeah, yeah, but I'm using my magic, my powers to manifest in my life. You're using it to attack me because you're a loser. Ho, and you're jealous and hateful and mad. What's the message here for Virgo? Sun, Moon, Rising, Jupiter, North Node. Yeah, forgiveness. And she is the epitome of strength. So there could be forgiveness here between you and someone else. Somebody's mad about that, too, because there, there is forgiveness. Yeah, because you know I got your back, but you deserve better than this, and you do. And self-peace, and that's important to you. Self-peace, you know what you deserve, and it ain't no bullshit. Yeah, forgiveness, yeah, and live-in boyfriend. Yeah, Taurus got these cards, and they're really, you could be dealing with the Taurus or somebody with those placements. Forgiveness and live-in boyfriend, and I want to be closer than six feet. So I feel like somebody actually wants to live with you, be under you, be with you. There's going to be forgiveness here. You may even decide to move in or live with somebody or be with somebody. Yeah, there's a spiritual connection here. Yes, the uh, Taurus got these same cards. But you intuitively know that there is interference, that there's a third party or that these hoes are throwing in obstacles and shit. Anything else you need to know for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Jupiter, North Node, the 22nd to the, um, yeah, Empress Boss Bitch to the 24th. Yeah, somebody's mad. You got this. I've seen you go through so many storms and always come out on so top. I'm so proud of you. Okay. Somebody's jealous. Yeah. Yeah, defensive because you protect your body. You sleep. You are the virgin. You are the virgin of the zodiac, um, Virgo. You probably don't sleep around. You just study, or you're empress boss bitch, or you mind your business, or whatever. Somebody's just jealous of your body too. They want you to cover it up, or they want you. To, somebody wants to look like you, but they're big, and you're petite and sexy, or they, or or you're mad because you're big, and somebody else is petite and sexy. It's fucking ridiculous. This is fucking ridiculous, my nigga. Like for real. Third party into um and, and third party and intuition. So you know about a third party. You could be a psychic. You be, you could be intuitive. You also know that somebody could have somebody pregnant here. What's the third party and the intuition? It says you got this. I've seen you go through so many storms and always come out on top. I'm so proud of you. Okay. Um, but I feel like you ain't worried about it or you good. Yeah, job offer and I get jealous. Yeah. What's this I get jealous and job offer? Yeah, a start pass and you got me fucked up. And uh, pay attention to your health and toxic relationship. Yeah, somebody likes toxic relationships, but you're not with that. It's like you got me fucked up. I'm not sure about, yeah, pills or, yeah, somebody popping pills. You're like, no, I'm not doing that. Okay, I don't, I don't want anything to do with that. What is this um, dark past and this shit? Yeah, somebody got somebody pregnant here. Pay attention to your health. Yeah, Taurus got this and they're reading. I don't pay attention to what you're doing here. Give me one of these. The Emperor and Lovers. What is this for Virgo? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, Mars, Mars, the 22nd to the 24th. But you have door to personal healing and happiness as your overall energy. Yeah, new love, okay? A new love or a recommitment to love is developing. We have intuition again. All right, you already know the answers. You seek rejection. This rejection is actually divine protection and twin flame. This is a divine counterpart. 
um, connection and trust and passion and apology. So there's there's um, there's somebody here apologizing for something here. Maybe something they did, um, a sexual act was strictly sexual that lacked integrity with integrity, but they want or, yeah interference, but they want to heal something with you. So whatever happened, this was divine God. This was to teach somebody a lesson about you, about this connection, about whatever. Yeah, new love and support. Okay, lean on your inner circle. So somebody, this new love is going to support you. Okay, um, lessons. Yeah, this person in your life is to teach you. Is, is here to teach you a spiritual lesson. Okay, yeah, and second chance. This relationship deserves a second chance, and I feel like it will be that. But you do, you do need to take your time or whatever. Let's get a couple right here. For Virgo, yeah, we got um soulmate, deep love, and uni unity. Virgo, the 22nd to the 24th of October, yeah, commitment. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, North Node, 22nd to the 24th of October. Somebody's just a mad, miserable, sad ass bitch. What's the soulmate card? Yeah, healing. You're going to be healing something with someone and loyalty, releasing, purifying, and cleansing, trusting, reliability, and believing, and, and rejection. Abandoned, dismissing, irrational. With nurture. So I feel like if somebody rejected you or abandoned or something, I feel like somebody wants to heal that and, and nurture the situation. Nurture what was broken or um or whatever. Somebody maybe broke your heart or they, they made a mistake or you know, there was something here. But yeah, ecstasy, thrills, or short funds because somebody was attractive or, or or beautiful. But I feel like that's over with finality and sorrow. If you've been sad, that's going to be over. And heart fog or somebody's been confused about what they want. Yeah, apology. There it is. Forgiveness. Return. I'm sorry. Someone is going to apologize and there's going to be forgiveness and there's going to be a return. What's the apology? Somebody could be telepathically communicating this, but it needs to be a frozen, no word, stone wall, okay? And longing. I feel like somebody wants to apologize, but they're not. They're longing, craving, aching, wanting, and they want to commit to you in the long term. They realize this. Yeah, they, they want peace, divine masculine with you. But I just feel like, yeah, because they see only you. They really do. And they've had a different perspective about this, a different headspace, better space and happiness about this connection. They just have pride and bitterness, resentment, anger, and hurtful words. So somebody needs to um, get out of their ego and their pride and stubbornness to make something come together here. I feel like somebody's in their pride. They know they were wrong, but they don't want to admit that. But you are wrong, though. I feel like somebody's jaded, beat up, battered, and bruised, and they pick holes who do this to them. Somebody needs to heal and move forward, or you were brought into their life to heal them, to, to help them see you, your unconditional love. So if somebody, yeah, somebody's bitter and prideful, imagine like, man, be peaceful, dog, or let it go or heal. Yeah, spying, but they're still spying on you, though, or this is you. And they still want a second chance and they're still craving and thinking about you and they still want a new beginning and they still want to open their heart. Yeah. Well, somebody has to do that because, yeah, and get out of the pride and ego because that's not going to get the shit nowhere. Give me one of these. For Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, North Node, 22nd to the 24th, Virgo. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, North Node, 22nd to the 24th, for Virgo. Give me one of these for Virgo, 22nd to the 24th of October. Okay. The best card, make a move. This The time is now. Someone is planning to take action or it's time for you to make the move. So someone's going to take action here. They're planning to do this. Slow down and divine union. Someone's trying to slow down this divine union. They're trying to block it. I'm getting every indication of that. Telepathic, yeah, pay attention to the telepathic messages that are being sent and received between you and this person. And deeper intimacy and inner fears and forgive and heal. Some And third party. So someone's going to be, there's forgiveness for someone having a third party. Okay. Yeah, there's something or someone that is affecting your relationship. It's time to address it. And I feel like it will be addressed and it will be healed. Yeah, I told you, watch out. I told you. Like, look at this. Slow down. There's someone trying to, um, you know, it, it, it's a warning message. It says it's a warning message. Be aware of gossip, envy, and jealousy. Someone or something is trying to stand in the way of this connection and slow it down. Like, 
this divine union. Yeah, congratulations. It's time to celebrate both you and your partner have healed and learned the important lessons to allow this union to manifest. And that's why somebody's mad. They know you've come in your union. That's the yin and yang right here. Somebody's so mad, dog. So fucking mad. Yeah, slow down, annoyance. Someone's annoyed, irritated. They don't like you because you are them because you, this person wants to be with you. They want to build a bitch. Someone's so annoyed because someone wants to build a future with you. They want to be a life partner with you. They're falling in love with you or they have. Someone's annoyed. Yeah, disharmony. There seems to be some disconnect. Use this time to address any issues um, to restore harmony. Somebody does not want you to restore harmony in this. This person that you got to watch out for and slowing it down. They don't want harmony, um, um, mate. But what's going to be the outcome to this person trying to intervene in, in this yin and yang, divine masculine, divine feminine energy? What's going to be the outcome for, for, for this? Because I don't think, yeah, harvest, you planted the seeds that the universe gave you. Due to your patience and growth, you are now able to enjoy the fruits of your labor. That's like seven. If somebody's still going to put the time, energy, and yeah, quality time. You're still going to spend time with them. Quality time means putting away the phone and clearing your bearing of anything distracting you so you can ensure that your partner is your number one focus. And that's what you're going to do. Yeah, clarity. Someone finally sees the answers that was always right in front of their eyes. The vision is clear. Therefore, what is to come shall be clear as well. And safe place. There's some, nothing that is. There's nothing like being able to let your guard down and know that you were protected by your partner's love. Okay, and listen, it's still going to come into fruition. Somebody's still manifesting. Somebody's still going to put in the work. Somebody's still going to do it. Yeah, third party. There's something or someone. But like I said, there's a third party somewhere interfering. Or someone's doing spell work to throw in third party so that something doesn't come together. This disharmony shit, you're going to talk about it. Yes, yeah, this third party bringing in the disharmony. That's what it is. But freedom, someone's freeing themselves um, from this or um, release. This is like the full card to me. When we can be our truest selves with each other, um, with when we can be our truest selves, we are then able to freely love. And I feel like that's what I always say, love is free. And I feel like the fact that you love this person unconditionally and freely is why this situation is coming in. Someone's going to free themselves from a third-party situation as well. Yeah, there's going to be laughter here and there's a magnetic attraction. The laughter you share between your soulmate warms the soul in a way no coat could ever. And there's a magnetic pool. Your sacred souls are instantly drawn towards each other. It's always going to be that. Yeah, patience. And you have the patience and the self-love. As you love who you are, you become more confident in your relationship and with yourself. And because you have you have learned to, uh, to uh, love yourself and have self-love and put yourself first is why this is coming. So I don't feel like that is going to succeed. And overall, energy, enchanted love, a sacred bond that is divinely guided and harmonious. It's sacred, it's a bond, and it cannot be broken, just period. Give me, give me one of these. And I'm going to extend this. Yeah, I'm trying to rob you of all your opportunities, but I didn't even shuffle yet. What is this for Virgo Summer Rising Energy? Okay. North Node. This is August, This is for October 22nd to the 24th for Virgo. Virgo, please. And then I'm going to extend this because I, I want to get into exactly what, what we already know and pull some more cards from this. It'll be on my Vimeo, so you guys can click the link there. A wound cleansing is needed, it says. So you need to cleanse your womb here because somebody could be trying to keep you from getting pregnant here as well, which is I would, which I feel like I just heard them say is an absolute negative. It will never happen. Yeah, I hope we have a daughter that looks just like you. Somebody yeah, secretly hates you. Yeah, somebody wants a daughter with you or, you know, or something or a child or whatever. Um, what is this for Virgo? I, I just feel like you don't have nothing to worry about. Your, your love is like a drug. Yeah, your love is like a drug to someone. If I could go back in time, I would have done things differently. And somebody wishes they would have done things dif differently. Act they wish they would have acted out of their higher self and not their lower desires and, and lower shit that they were doing. They wish they did the right thing. Yeah, the sexual attraction, and it's a setup. Somebody they had se sex with that's trying to set them up or that's going to set their ass up. Or this is you. Now they wish they um yeah unhealed traumas in reverse and cut ties. Someone is healing their traumas with that in the reverse and they're cutting ties with people that don't serve them or this is you. The motherfuckers like mad about it. Like yeah, heartbroken and betrayed and they flipped out in the reverse. You're not heartbroken or betrayed, and that's the same thing that um was been coming out in this deck, that heartbroken and betrayed in reverse. You don't feel that way. 
you've healed, you've cut the ties, you've healed your trauma, you had a divine pair again. And look, yin and yang. This is about a divine pair or somebody being you or choosing you or you choosing someone. So we're going to put cards on what this evil is here, what this wicked, envious, hostile hostile bitches doing here with anxiety and just get cleared up more about what's going on okay there's going to be there's forgiveness here forgiveness here there's going to be that just period with your divine mass and somebody sees you as the only one for them i don't give a fuck what's going on and there's going to be a second chance making amends reconciliation and opportunity okay somebody may even want to give you an opportunity work with you or work or 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 some shit but we'll see in the extended. Click the link. It'll be in the description box, comment section, on my community tab. I'll see you there. Oh, um, they just told me. Wait a minute. Literally, I was about to cut y'all off. But they told me to get one of these. Release your ex unrequited love, separation, and wedding. Yeah, because somebody's getting left. That's why. Somebody released their ex and left their ass behind. And, and this is why they're mad. Give me something for Virgo. One of these before we go. They want me to do this in this read and not the extended for some reason. Let's see Virgo. The 28th second to the 21st. Sun moon rising, Venus, North node. Give me one for Virgo. Yeah, forgiving and learning. And new love. There it is again. New love, new love, but I feel like it's a second chance with somebody. It's going to be a renewed love. It says a new person has stirred your romantic feeling, forgiveness. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in the present moment. And this is, could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you see. So you already know this person. And there's going to be a new love worth waiting for in the reverse. Someone is like coming now. Literally could be coming or not. Yeah, work on your partnership. You want to work on this. You want to give this relationship a chance and you're going to. Period, because there's a lot of chemistry and passion here and attraction between the two of you. That, yeah, somebody may even propose with engagement. A lot of fun between the two of you. Somebody's being left and they're mad about it. Romantic feelings, your feelings are real and worth exploring. And true love, period. So let's see. I like this reading, Virgo. Let's see. And I'll see you guys in the extended.